So guys, let's get started with the Schema Ninja plugin. The first step that you have to do is you have to install the Schema Ninja plugin on your WordPress based website. Just click on add new plugin and then click on upload plugin. After this is done, choose your file, choose the downloaded Schema Ninja file, the plugin file that you have and click on install now. Once you are done doing this, click on activate plugin. Now wait for some time. And after the plugin is activated, now you have to do the first steps and you have to clear your cache in case you are using a cache plugin. Now just head over to the basic settings. You can see the schema ninja option which is shown over here. So clicking on schema ninja brings you the settings. You have your license key over here and just enter your single site license key over here and then you have to click on authenticate to begin using your plugin and after you are done doing this you can set up your review settings and your recommendation settings so clicking on review settings brings up the custom options and words that you can use and you can even use custom CSS for making your reviews look even more different than others So now apart from these just click on add posts and you can now add reviews through schema ninja once you are done with the basic setup just go to any existing post that you have or make a new post so in order to add a review to an existing post just go to any post that you have and then after you are done doing this As can be seen the review and just scroll down easily nicely enough you can see the other plugins and their options and once you just let go of all of that you can see the review tab here and if you want you can show the review if you want you can untick it to not show the review and you can select the positioning top or bottom can select the title you can select the currency that you want to show and apart from this you can select an overall rating pricing in the currency that you want you can give ratings for different features and different things that you like you can set pros and cons and once you are done doing this you can add or subtract more pros and cons you can add the specifications for the device and once you are done adding those you can add specifications like build and you can add specifications like screen size and weight of the product and you can add your affiliate link which is the major source for your earning you can even stylize the different text in your review specs and summary and the try now button you can customize those texts to match what you want and once you are done using the custom text etc you are done with customizing the output of the plugin and you can just hit that publish button or the update button on your post and once you are done doing that the review is now live and the review box is live now so what does it look like and how would it look like let's just clear the cache and check the schema ninja review in action so this is what it looks like very sleek box with your featured image and with all of the options and all of the things that you put in in the input all of them are visible over here pros and cons and the score that you gave it also has a last modified date so every time you modify it it would become as fresh as new in terms of schema and you have the buy now button which redirects to your affiliate url so the question that arises is how good is the schema ninja plugin in terms of seo so we made sure that all of the links are no followed and they open up in a new window so that the plugin does comply with best seo practices and the output itself is something that passes all of the modern schema standards so you can see that the review everything has no problems everything is all good so guys this was all on how to set up the schema ninja plugin and the reviews on the schema ninja plugin and in case you still have any questions or any doubts whatsoever leave them in the comment section below and we will be more than happy to assist you